just told us that it seems like whenever you score, the team wins. So I guess you just got to score every game now? Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to, obviously. But uh, it would be good to get some other girls get in on that, too, and get the whole group scoring, for sure. Um, Amy told us a little bit about kind of what she told you guys at halftime. But could you kind of walk us through, maybe from halftime on, how you felt like this team was able to kind of just turn it on and, and come away with the win? Yeah, I think we just kept building momentum as the half went along. We talked about figuring out our press and, and getting more pressure to the ball carrier, and I think we did that in the second half, and I think we were able to establish possession a little bit higher on the field, which allowed us to build momentum, get some set pieces, um, yeah, like attack their goal a little bit more. So I think that kind of all led up to the moment that we were able to get the goal, and then, yeah, really happy with the, the whole group to get the, the shutout and the three points. And then specifically on the goal, um, you guys had a couple – chances they're kind of really close to each other and they all also came right after the goal that was disallowed for for bay uh, i guess what did you kind of see in those couple minutes um and on, on your goal specifically yeah i think there was a big momentum shift obviously they were building some pressure on our goal and we were disciplined with our back line on the offside goal made some good manny made some good saves have some had some good tackles from some girls so i think that helped build momentum and then uh yeah as the game went on we started to get the set pieces we were the ones dominating i think uh, in their half and yeah the game played out in our favor awesome thank you thanks sean go ahead Yeah, Kate, I, I caught a little bit of your uh, your post-game interview that you did with CBS on the broadcast uh, there, and you said uh, something on, on, I'll try to get it as right as I can, but you said that you, you felt like you had to score with the service that Ali gave you yeah. on that goal. I think it was, I think those were the words. Well, what was it about kind of that, that delivery, that yeah. set piece, everything in there where you just felt like you know, you had to connect on it, that you had to put it in. Again. Yeah, I think Allie did all the hard work. Um, she it was a really well-driven ball, I think, and it dipped over the defender's head. So I literally just had to <laughs> head it in like that. I just had to get a little touch on it. And yeah, she placed it, couldn't have placed it. She couldn't have picked it up and placed it better than she did. So yeah, she's been, she's been so good for us. Um, I think that's her third assist of the season. She's been creating a lot for our uh, offense, and we just want to keep, keep her going, keep like, getting, gaining, having her gain confidence. And yeah, I think uh, an assist like that uh, really helps. It felt like the team got better and better as the match went on. You kind of survived through the first half and then really kicked it up a notch in the second half, and we're just getting better and better every five or ten minutes yeah. in the second but it seems like Allie was like a microcosm of that yeah for such a young player and a rookie you've been a rookie in this league before and whatnot like what is it about her where she seems to shine the brightest when the moment is the biggest I guess yeah absolutely Allie's been so good for us this year um I think it's just about finding her feet more and letting her do what she does you see it the ball is like stuck to her foot so she she's so technical she can drive into spaces she can dribble like no one else on this team can and so I think the more we can get her on the ball the higher up on the field the better off this team is going to be and prove that that tonight all right so sorry about all those dings guys Theo go ahead hi Kate um curious to kind of talk about the tackle on Castellanos fabulous tackle um can you can you walk me through kind of your technique on that, how you made it happen, and, and maybe yeah. what was going through your head when it was, you know, checked with ball. Yeah, I think um, they picked up a ball in midfield, and I kind of was caught in between stepping and dropping, and so that opened up a little bit of space for uh, Castellanos to get in behind, and I just knew that I, I better get back and make up for it, and I saw her take her touch, and I, I saw the opening to slide in there and get the ball, and then, yeah, I think just trying to make sure I got all ball, and was able to tackle the ball away from her. And yeah, I think we all kind of collapsed on her. So I think if it hadn't been me, it would have been Anna or who, everyone else on the other side. And Mandy was coming up and coming out big. So um, yeah, just a whole all around team effort. And we just really, really wanted that shutout tonight. Well, uh, one more question, just on the ending the winless streak, yes. 10 matches. Yeah. Was that weighing on the team? Or are you kind of trying to forget about it? like? Yeah, yeah, I mean, come in yeah, it's kind of it's it's impossible to not know and to not uh, kind of let it affect a little bit. But we just tried to stick to our to stick to our processes, and we knew that the performances we were putting in didn't necessarily deserve ten losses in a row or whatever it ended up being. So 
we just knew we had to stick to the stick to the way we were going and we knew we were getting better with every game and that we felt really felt like this was an opportunity for us to, to stop that and girls did a great job put in a great shift and yeah I got the three points so we're happy with that well done tonight enjoy it thank you go ahead Kyle Hey, Kate, congrats on the goal and the win. Uh, kind of piggybacking off that last question, how did you personally handle the losing streak, and what did you try to do to improve your game during that? Yeah, I think, especially as a defender, like, take really, take a lot of pride in not letting a lot of goals up, and we were losing games one nothing, one nothing, 2-1, things like that, where we were right there, and, it, and so I took a lot of responsibility, and I, I felt a lot of, not pressure, but I just wanted to help the girls in any way I could. And I think as being one of the older girls on the team, I just tried to keep encouraging and, and saying that the way we were doing things, things would turn around. And we had great people come off the bench and make a big difference. I think Hannah Bepfer, Murph, Murph Baskin-Squale is coming off the bench, um, just really solidifying those three points. We needed everybody tonight. And I think we just tried to keep the locker room and our training super positive and super motivated. And I think the girls had done a great job at that. And same with me. And, and it's easy when you have um, girls around you doing that and lifting you up. Then obviously, just that, you know, it's kind of like a cliche question, but how do you prevent you guys from falling into another hole like you were earlier in the season? What do you yeah. have to do to build off of this performance to? kind of repeat and stack games together. Yeah, I think now we know we know what we're capable of. We're capable of a shutout. We're capable of a, th a three-point performance. So the standard definitely goes up, but I think it's just next game up mentality, um, not looking too far into the future and just focusing all on the weekend and getting the next three points. And I think if we keep doing it the way we've been doing it, then pieces will fall into place, and hopefully that won't happen ever again. Royal Riot, I'm not sure who that is, but... You're up. <laughs> it's Maggie. Hi, Hi Kate. Maggie. Good Hi, to Maggie. see you. Congratulations. Thank you. First on the goal, the win. Thanks. All of the above, but also on um, giving your dad a Father's Day gift. Yeah. We have a nice tweet from your dad. Of course of you course. do. Of course. He said, best Father's Day present ever. I know. Thanks, He's Kate funny. Delfava. And then we got a couple other good memes going on, so you'll have to check that out I'll after. Have to, I'll have to look. Happy Fava's Day. Yeah, seriously. My dad did text me and say, you could have said it in the post-game interview. I was like, I'm so sorry, Dad. I had a lot going on. But that was, that goal was for him, so happy Father's Day, Dad, if you're watching this, which he probably will because he finds everything on the Internet somehow. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Have fun with the team. and Thank you so much. Thanks, Maggie.